Hi everyone, it's Donna here, and I am back again with two more journals, um, two more smaller journals. Um, I'll start with this one here, a um, little grungy journal. This one I'm calling Simone, um, and I tried, I tried my best to do grungy. It's kind of hard for me, but this is my take on gr on a grungy journal. I went into my my box of grunged up linens um, that I've been selling, and I pulled out a few a few pieces. There's a piece of a tablecloth here with the butterfly, and another another piece of a tablecloth here. Um, Simone measures three and a half inches by five and a half inches, and she has one signature. And let's take a look inside. It's another one of the grungy, grungy pieces. Um, stay tuned this weekend. I'm going to be selling grunge grab bags, uh, grungy linen grab bags. So stay tuned for that. Um, this I just sewed a grunged up doily to it, and tucked inside is a little milk bottle cap, an original. Just a little snippet. All the pages have been are torn and torn and um, grunged up. A little doily in the middle of in this one. Another grungy, very grungy, tattered linen here with a journal card that I've collaged. Lots of sewing in this one. Um, just a piece of a of a tablecloth there. Little envelope that I made and tucked in the back is a, a tag and a and a ticket. And then inside of the envelope, I'm not going to take them out, but there's several. There's uh, quite a few um, postage stamps in there that you can use to further decorate. <coughs> Um, this was a book on learning French. It's a little snippet there. So grungy paper. This is a page from the book I have from the 1700s. This is nice rag paper. If you've never felt rag paper before. And just a, um, scrunched up piece of lace. Some old tattered lace. This just opens up for extra journaling here. And in the center is just a um, flower image. I didn't think when I was doing this, this is all, this, this is all the way um, attached. I should have left it open here to make some pockets, but, but I didn't. <clears throat> and it's the back side of all of those. Just a little grungy pocket with a um, vintage button. And a couple of tickets. This one was from the 1940s, 1947. And another one from 1943. Those are originals. Back side of that, a coin envelope with a collage tag inside. And just a Snip it on the front and tuck behind is another another tag. This actually came off of some clothing that I purchased recently, and I just made it, covered it up, and made it into a into a tag. Another grungy pocket here, and clipped to the front is just some little little bits of lace and fabric. And this is a page from a 190 farm journal with the advertising. That's an original. Another piece from a grungy doily and tucked in the, in the bottom is a tag. And that opens up for journaling. It's a little stamped fabric down here. Another grungy pocket with some piece of tatting clipped to it. 
and inside the pocket is a piece of ephemera and a photograph that says 110 year old at sugar mill cuba it's pretty good for 110 years old my goodness and just a little snippet with some fabric down here and back sides of all of those just a little grungy snippet there A uh, belly band with a journaling card tucked in. There's the fortune cookie that's in this journal. Just some grungy fibers and fabric stitched onto this page. And that's the back of this journal. So that is Simone. Just held on with some some dyed muslin. And this one is Tabitha. This one is a undecorated journal. It's held on with some sorry, sorry silk. Um, the cover is a collage that I one of the collage covers that I do with vintage linens. All stitched on. Um, it is an undecorated journal, however, it is filled with things that you can decorate yourself and things that you can use to decorate. Um, lace pocket in the front with three different tags to be decorated. Uh, piano roll paper. I'm just kind of going to flip through it really quickly. Piece of lace. This pocket has a Tundex card, a library catalog card, and two different sizes of index cards that have been um, coffee dyed. A little bird book that I have. Coffee dyed tracing paper. It's another page from that 1700s book. And in this pocket is some. Um, German cattle, uh, German, um, uh, what are those? Little German cards and a CD sleeve. German vocabulary card. There we go. I knew it would come to me eventually. Different sizes of papers. On inside the middle of the signature is an envelope held on with Velcro and inside the envelope I'm not going to take it all out there's some stamps and little bits of ephemera some whale tail tabs some cigarette cards just a whole bunch of stuff that you can use to decorate Back sides of all of those pages. Oops. Inside this pocket, there's a glassine envelope with a uh, masterboard tag that you can decorate, and another German learning German card. This pocket has a Yahtzee scorecard, just a little snippet from um, Butterfly Book, and a playing card. The back side of that lace. And in the back is a little airmail envelope, a coin envelope, and a little tiny, tiny envelope. And this journal also comes with a packet that's filled with little laces, some charms, some buttons, some appliques, just little bits that you can use to decorate the journal. <clears throat> um, I forgot to say the, the size of this one. Um, this one is four and a half 
by six and a half, uh, six and a quarter, and and it has 82 pages. Um, this journal also comes with a selection of some of my favorite collage papers, papers that I use to collage tags and, and do snippets and that kind of thing, some ledgers, some map, a scan of one of my linens, all different types of paper. It's another ledger, some Japanese, and some German, I think, and dictionary. So those you can use to decorate the journal as well. So that is Tabitha. Um, both of these journals are for sale if they are still available when you view this this video the purchase information will be down below in the description box you'll need to send me an email uh, and that's all I have for today I will offer the larger one um, as soon as I get it finished um, hopefully later on this week if not next week and that's all I have for now Bye.